morning everybody um, I have to do another video this morning <clears throat> as you can imagine it's been a long 24 hours and very emotional 24 hours and I wanted to uh, share some thoughts and share some information and I'll try to do this fairly quickly, but um, I know I can tend to ramble on right now. And <clears throat> but um, I, I like the video I did yesterday, and I've watched it a number of times and cried to it. And unfortunately, I. I not a big emotional person, to be honest, and uh, when I can show it, um, I surprise myself. Um, I'm my father's son. My, my father was a, not an emotional man. He kept stuff inside, and yeah. That's the way you were back then, and that's the way I am kind of now. I don't wear my, uh, my emotions on my sleeve. So, but this is different. This is uh, this is a lot different. So, um, I'm just happy that uh, happy. I, well, I'm given the circumstances. I'm happy that I got to spend and be with Susan in her final moments of life here on this on this planet and as she lay in the hospital bed and uh, I held her hand and I was stroking her hair and wiped a couple little tears that were in, her, in the side of her eyes and uh, I spoke to her and uh, I let her know it was okay to go that she would be at peace and uh, that me and Colin were surrounded by family and friends that are going to make sure that we're okay and that we're going to get taken care of and get the help that we need to get through this so I'm glad I got to talk to her to the end and uh, I watched her take her her final breath and I watched as uh, she passed on to hopefully there's something beyond our our existence but uh, I watched her pass away and it was very very peaceful and and uh, it was a, a moment that will stick with me for the rest of my life and uh, Quite honest, I don't want to ever repeat it again, but it was, I can kind of describe it as, as, as a beautiful, special moment at the end of Susan's life that it was just me and her, and, uh, and I got to speak to her as she passed on to, uh, on to whatever there is beyond this. Um, seeing that we had been together for 28 years and I was hoping that we were going to be together for another 28 years and see our son grow up and become a man and have a family and maybe grandkids and all that good stuff and uh, that's been taken from her it's taken from me that we get to do that together and uh, yeah it's uh, Anyways, we came back home and the house feels so empty. Uh, I'm, I'm incredibly tired. I didn't sleep uh, very well last night. And, uh, mainly because there's so much to do and I, I don't want to disappoint Susan in this uh, weekend. Surely what we're doing for Susan. And, 
but there's a lot of stuff that needs to come together very quickly now that now that she's passed and we know dates and, and that so anyway uh, please know that Colin is okay and uh, he's seen professional health and he's got lots of family around him to take care of him. I know all the Sorry, that's kind of what I wanted to spot, speak about was all the notes and messages we've gotten in the last few hours of uh, notes of condolences and and kind words about uh, me and, and Colin and Susan and memories being shared on Facebook between uh, some of our old friends and some of our new friends and stuff. I've been reading all of them and... Uh, I've been trying to answer people back or, or acknowledging that I've read them and uh, please excuse me if I haven't, <coughs> if you've messaged me or something and I haven't gotten back to you yet, I'm, I'm trying to get that all done, so, but, uh, yeah, a huge thank you to everybody for, for everything that you've done for us in the, this past year and, and, and especially in the past 24 hours or less than 24 hours. All the notes that have that have been sent and to me and posts made on Susan's wall and and Facebook and uh, I've been reading them all and very kind words and, and we we really appreciate that. Um, yeah, there was a post that I did that, uh, and I want to make make it very clear that um, we want friends to come and visit. We want. Susan's friends to come and visit, my friends to come and visit. Um, my door will, is now, and will always be open. Um, people that know is you knock on the door and you walk in. That's the way we've had it here um, for some time. That's, uh, and that's okay. As long as we're home, <coughs> you just knock on the door and walk in and say hello. And you are not intruding, you are not bothering us, nothing. It's, it's what I need, It's I think it's what Colin needs um, to help fill the, the empty void that has been left in this house. Um, we need friends to be around us and, and I encourage people to, if they have time, to drop in and say hello and bring coffee, black. <laughs> We can just sit and chat and reminisce about what a fabulous person Susan was because uh, quite honest she was she was a fabulous person and uh, we were together for 28 years and I am an incredibly better person for having her in my life for the, all that time and she will live on in Colin uh, because she has taught him the values and to enjoy life and he's becoming a great little man and uh, and a reflection of her and uh, he will live on he will uh, she will live on in him and anyways my door is always open and, and please feel free to visit when you are able so, to try to get this, uh, not to run over 10 minutes, it's uh, kind of long already. Um, I know there'll be questions of, of what's happening now that Susan's passed away. Um, Susan is, uh, did not want to have a funeral, and we're respecting that wishes. There will be no funeral for Susan. Um, she has been cremated, and as I said, the, I'm, I am going to have a very busy few days because um, what I'm trying to arrange now is for a hall and, uh, and a get-together uh, for all our friends out there uh, to come in for a celebration of Susan's life because that's what she wanted. She didn't want us all gathering in a funeral home and wallowing in our own sorrow and, and uh, being all happy, as she would put it. Uh, she wanted us to all get together and tell stories and chat and drink coffee and have some nibbles and and, and, and social and 
and, and have it as a social and uh, remember all the great things about S Susan so as soon as I get those details I will uh, post it and get it out to as many people as possible uh, um, how I know and please share if all your I, I don't know if I have everybody's contacts that might be missing people but uh, um, that's what's going to be happening here man and that's how it's going to work and uh, as soon as I have uh, something booked um, I will let everybody know and uh, I, I certainly hope everybody will will make an effort to to get time to come and and be part of this celebration of of the wonderful life that was Susan and uh, yeah so again watch for that I'm, I'm hoping to do that in the next few days I have a lot to do in the next few days and I'm going to be very busy but uh, again please come by please text uh, come by the house the door is open if I'm not here sit down have a coffee um, I'll be home eventually <laughs> uh, again the door is always open and uh, thank you thank you thank you to everybody for all the kind words and, and we've had words from all corners of the world of people that Susan's touched Yuichi from Japan sent messages and Anna and uh, Raul uh, Raul and uh, Pau and, and Jesus from kids from Spain that we had stay with us or in the area have sent messages um, yeah just people from all over so anyways I'm going to cut this now and uh, that's running about 12 minutes so it's a little long Anyways, thank you again, and uh, we'll talk soon. Have a great day.